Good morning. Welcome here. Welcome, welcome on this glorious autumn morning. The old stories tell of how fire was hidden in wood. The only way to coax the fire out of hiding was through the rubbing of two sticks together. This is told in many stories around the world, from China, North America, to Polynesia, all across the world, different cultures, same similar stories telling of how fire was hidden in wood. So this morning, I'm going to attempt to coax the fire out of hiding to welcome the fire out of hiding using the fire plow. So I've got other videos you can find on YouTube um, instructing you and having tips and tricks on how to use a fire plow. So this morning let's see if we can coax the fire out of hiding. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the ancestral fire. Fire. It's in our DNA. We are evolved from fire. We are forged from fire. If our distant ancestors hadn't obtained the wild fire and harnessed it brought us into the half fire and nurtured it and worshipped it and honoured it we would not be here today fire changed everything fire enabled our distant ancestors to evolve they had warmth they could cook food and that actually changed the physicality Eating cooked food changed the physicality of our distant ancestors. We evolved into the Homo sapiens that we are today. If we had not attained the fire, we would not be here today. I would not be here today. We would not be here today. Fire is in our DNA. At festivals, campsites, events, a campfire will draw people in, attracted by the warmth, Attracted by the light, attracted by socialising, people start to chat, sing, dance, or simply sit and be by the fire, as it is in our bones. Fire is in our bones, and so I like to honour the fire and honour our ancestors, and honour the ancestral fire. Nowadays, fire is still central to our lives, but it is hidden, industrialised, mechanicised, contained within boilers, within combustion engines. It's hidden from view. We take it for granted. A lot of us take a lot of things for granted. So if it wasn't for fire, we would not have any of those things. But fire is still within us. We have fire stoves. People have been, fire stoves are coming back into fashion people having a fire in their home again. Fire will always be within our DNA, it is part of us. We are forged from fire. And now let's feed our ancestral embryonic ember, that embryonic ancestral ember. 
Let's feed it. Let's bring it to life. She's yet to baby. In the Vedic tradition, they say that Lord Agni, fire, the fire god, fire itself, is formed from a friction of wood from a male spindle on the female hull. Fire is integral to all of our cultures, all of our backgrounds. It's part of us. So that's why I think a fire should be honoured and treated with respect. And that's why I like to say I welcome fire. I don't just make it. I don't bust out an ember. I coax the ember out of hiding. I pay my respects to the ancestral fire. I pay my respects to my ancestors. Welcome, welcome. Welcome the ancestral fire. Blessings, blessings on our ancestors, blessings on the ancestral fire. Please subscribe to Sacred Heart Butchery Fire YouTube channel if you like to see more content from me. Blessings.